Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Such a pleasure to speak to you both today. How are you? Okay? Good, how are you? Thank you. Um, so I guess let's kick off with a brief introduction. For people who don't know anything about this show, what can they expect when they watch Jane? They can, well, expect, <laughs> they can expect to learn a lot of things and to have a lot of fun watching it because there's a lot of fun action scenes. And um, they should also expect to um, see lots of amazing animals from CGI, and um, they should they should have a good time. Definitely. Um, and maybe you can just each um, tell us a bit about your respective characters. If I start with Ava. Jane is a budding environmentalist who um wants to save the environment and animals so she goes on epic adventures with her best friend David and her toy chimpanzee Greybeard who eventually comes to life in these missions and what she does is she um she's basically like the leader of these missions and um she learns cool facts about animals and how to save them yeah and David is Jane's best friend, um, and he's all he's always cracking jokes in the scariest moments, um, and he is also always very hungry. Um, then that meant that I got to eat a lot on site, which was really cool. <laughs> um, but um, both of those things, me and David, I personally feel like both have in common. Uh, but yeah, David's Jane's best friend, and um, he can bring Lava to the show sometimes because Jane goes on these scary missions. You know, when there's these scary scenes, sometimes he just cracks a little joke, and then people start laughing. And um, you know, it looks like you had so much fun making the show. Um, but I guess lots of people your age might not even know who Jane Goodall is. Um, or, you know, they might not have that much in-depth knowledge um, about animals, about the environment. So um, how much did you already know? Or did you have to do your own research? Or was it something that was there in the script? And kind of what was the appeal for you for, for making the show? I heard about her, but I didn't um, know so much about her. And after booking the show, I learned so much about her and all of her um, inspiring quotes and um, what she's done, I think is just truly amazing. And um, yeah, I think she's a really amazing person. Yeah, I knew about her before I booked the job and she was actually my idol because I've been trying to help save, protect and save the environment since I was just a little guy. And I learned so much more about her. And I learned so many Jane Goodall quotes. And that there's just so many different things that I learned about her that just inspire me to keep helping the environment. And something that's so great about the show is, of course, you know, we, we, we see everything kind of from, from your character's perspectives. And they've got, the, you know, this incredible imagination. Um, so <laughs> the animals are kind of coming to life and they're really there in the supermarket or they're at the polar bears in the street or in the swimming pool so on and so forth um but what was that like on set because of course that's all been added in um with cgi so how did you kind of cope with that were you having to talk to to the air or you know how, how did it work i think oh, i think um, me and mason are very good at imagining but it was definitely a different experience and also some people think that um all of it was a green screen, but we also did film like um, in Costa Rica and Kenya with those um, like the beautiful rainforest and um, the big rocks in Kenya. But um, I think filming with CGI was definitely a fun experience for me. Yeah, same here. Uh, but it was a really fun experience because um, for eyelines, so the case, for eyelines, since the camera had to see what we were looking, it's like they could put gray ear there. Um, they, we would normally be staring at a tennis ball on a stick, or we would be staring at the wall, or we would be staring at really nothing. 
And did you have a favorite moment or a favorite episode to film or a particular scene? Um, and on the flip side, was any moment really difficult or challenging or did anything go wrong, Ava? Uh, my favorite episode is the flying fox um, because they can only be found in the Philippines and my mom is from the Philippines, so I'm half Filipino. But also um, filming it was a very fun experience because we got to film with a drone. I thought that was really cool just seeing how it turned out. Like the quality was super cool and filming the action scenes. I also filmed the episode on my birthday and I really liked that. Um, but yeah, and for me, like the most difficult, that is a hard one. Um, I don't know, actually. I think... For the shark episode, the scuba diving was um, just a little hard for me because the costumes were very tight on me. So I was just like kind of freaking out a little. But um, I eventually, uh, when I went in the water, I found out that it was super fun and everything was fine. Oh, wow. Wow, Ava, uh, that's funny because one of my favorite scenes to film was actually underwater in this in the <laughs> Uh, in this place so we are off on that one um but uh yeah I loved filming down in the water we got to see so much and there it was kind of a funny moment for me because I was just doing my scene you know and then I looked behind me and there's this like 20 foot huge um motor or, or the spinny thingy that pushes the boat and I got so scared I jumped back in the water because I ah it was it was kind of it was, it was scary and funny. And and what did you think when you first saw the the finished um, series? Because I guess if you've been having to use your imagination or you know you've ha having to you know act things out on set that aren't you know um, happening in real life, and then when you saw how realistic the CGI looked, you must have been blown away. I yeah. was really blown away. And it's like weird to see what you imagined and what they actually put in the CGI. Cause you know, if you imagine like the tiger, like climbing on that side of the stairs, but actually the tiger's like already um, at the bottom or doing like some kind of movement and it's different than you imagined on set. That's really um, weird, but I think it turned out amazing. And I was so happy to see it. Yeah, it was, I got knocked out of my socks when I saw it. It looked so realistic. I cannot even explain it. When I saw it, the animals at first, I was like, I should know the answer this, to this question. But did we act with animals? And, because it was just so realistic. You, you, can, you can't even really tell. And I love um everybody asking, like, did you film with real animals? Did you film with a real chimpanzee? Like, uh, I just... I just love hearing that question because that means everybody thinks it's so realistic. And in terms of what people can take away from watching it, I mean, of course, it's just, you know, pure entertainment on one level, but on another, you know, there's so much in there for um, people of all ages to learn. It's very educational and it's also very inspiring because, you know, even when it comes up when she's talking to her neighbor, you know, and he says, oh, well, what difference can one person make? And of course we can each make a difference. And, and the mantras, you know, that she repeats from Jane. And um, so what do you think people can take away from watching it? I think they can take away why it's important to save the environment and save animals, but also that, like you said, um, each and every person can make a difference no matter how old they are, how young they are. Um, and I also hope they be more like Jane and um, have fun saving the environment and animals. Yeah, and um, adding on to what Ava said, um, anything you really do can help, like turning off the lights when you're out in a room, or turning off the water when we, when you're in the middle of brushing your teeth. <laughs> All those little things can help the environment so much. And also, there's this one Min Jang Goodall quote that kind of like is the base of the um, show. And it's only if we understand will we care, and only if we care will we help, only if we help can they be saved. And the show starts that process by helping kids and families understand the animals. And uh, then they'll want to feel sympathetic for the animals, so they'll want to help. And if everybody's helping, they can be saved.
definitely. Um, I think everyone's hopefully going to remember that mantra after watching it. Um, and then just very quickly, finally, obviously, this is an incredible show to be a part of at, at such a young age, you know, going out on, on Apple TV. Um, do you already know what you're each going to be doing next? Um, or if you've got your sights set on doing something different, um, film, TV? I hope that in the future I will book something and I hope to be back on set soon. But um, my accused just came out. Um, I play Sunny there. But yeah, um, I'm hoping to just audition more and maybe book an um, action movie or a comedy movie. Yeah. And uh, also, uh, I I am filming right now a um a voiceover for a cartoon. Uh, it's coming. That's that's um getting filmed currently. Um, and um yeah, I'm like even said I'm hoping to get lots of auditions and I'm hoping to book lots of more roles to keep doing what I love. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for sharing all that with me. And I really can't wait for everyone else to get stuck into this amazing show. And best of luck with your future projects as well. Thank, thank you. you. I'm sorry to chat to you. Bye.